Hi everybody, my name is Crystal and welcome to GCM at Home today. So today we're going to continue practicing coding commands, sequences, and loops that Chris taught us in yesterday's outdoor activity. So if you haven't seen that video yet, be sure to check that one out. So for today's activity, we're going to be creating a board game and you're going to need a few supplies. So the first thing you're going to need is a sheet of paper, a blank white sheet of paper works just fine. You can also use line rule materials, anything you have around works fine. Then the next thing you're going to need is you're going to want to have a few markers around. You can pick some of your favorite colors. Um, you're going to have an opportunity to color in the board that we make for today's activity. And then the last thing you need, you're going to need a little action figure, something that's going to be able to move around on the board as we move through the game. Okay, so make sure you get those supplies and then we'll create the board in just a second. Hi everybody, so now that you have your supplies with you, we're going to go ahead and start creating our board game. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a sheet of paper and you're going to notice that there's a few creases in mine already and I'm going to show you how to fold them. So follow along with me. So the first thing you're going to do is hold the sheet of paper up like this. You're going to fold it in half. And then you're going to notice that it is ready to fold again. So you're going to have a nice long skinny sheet of paper. You're going to fold it down and down one more time. So after you folded those, you're going to have a piece of paper that looks something like this. And once we make sure all those lines are nice and pressed into the paper, you're going to be able to open it. Now once you open it, you'll see these crease lines just like I have already. And you can trace all of these crease lines with your marker or colored pencil or whatever coloring utensil you decided to use. And now once you trace those lines, you're going to have a blank board. And so we're going to actually label some of these spaces for our adventure today. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you what those are. So you'll notice on my board right here, we got a few spaces. First, we're going to have a start space. And then we're going to have a guest services space a fire station, kids port, and Publix. Now once you have those spaces labeled, we'll be able to begin the activity for today's board game. Um, we're going to be following a story where we follow a friend named Billy through the Glazer Children's Museum on an adventure. So get ready for the story, okay? All right, so now that we have a game board prepared, we're able to start with our story for today's game. And so we're going to go ahead and grab your board. Now this is what mine looks like. Yours can be something else. You can also print one off of our website and be able to play along with the same story that we have today. So now that you're ready for that, we're going to go ahead and take our character and we're going to start in the start space up in the corner. So I'm going to put my little character here and we can follow along together. So our story brings Billy and his mother to the GCM today for a museum adventure. And so they're going to start by checking in with guest services. And so at guest services, we're going to have to move our character to the lion right here, which is going to be one, two spaces over. Now, if you notice, this is in the same direction and it's a repeating action. So that actually is a loop. Do you guys remember from yesterday's activity? That's right. So in guest services, where Billy and his mom are going to check in, Billy gets his favorite stamp which happens to be the lion stamp. So now that he has his lion stamp, Billy is ready to go play in our kids port area. And so in order for Billy to get to kids port, he is going to move over one and down two. And so in the kids port area, you'll notice that there are lots of boats to play around with. And for Billy to get there, that was a sequence movement of different directions. And so that's how Billy got to the kids port area and he's going to enjoy all the boats. He's going to splash around and have a great time. So now that Billy has had a great time in kids port, it's time for him to go do some shopping in Publix. So to get Billy to Publix, we're going to move him to the shopping cart down at the bottom. So to move Billy from the boat to the shopping cart, it's going to be down one and over one. Now again, that was two actions and they were two different actions. So that was called a sequence again. So we did another sequence in order to get Billy to Publix. In Publix, Billy gets to go shopping for all the fruits and vegetables that he loves to eat 
and play around with. And now that he's had a chance to do that with his mother, he's going to be ready for the fire station. And so Billy wants to go to the fire truck, which is up here in the middle of the board. Now that fire truck is going to require Billy to move over one and up two. And so do you remember what that action was called? That's right. That was called a sequence again. So we've done another sequence in order to get Billy to the fire truck. So in the fire station, Billy gets to put on fire hats and costumes and slide down the pole and have such a great time. He is tired and ready to go home for the day. But before Billy leaves for the day, he is going to ring out the day with all of our playologist team, and he's going to go have a great time saying, hip, hip, hooray! And so Billy has had a great time in our museum today, and I hope you had a great time playing with me on our board game where we practice more commands, sequences, and looping action words in order to get the character to move around the board, just like Chris did on the outside board for coding practice. So you guys can actually create another board or use the same one where you change the story that takes you to different places or even completely different map designs on your board. So I encourage you to continue practicing and get better and better at coding. And I look forward to having you guys join us again on another GCM at Home activity. Thank you for joining us.